I know I look like a bit of a mess, but I am in the midst of trying to get everything edited for today's upload. It is in celebration of Australia Day. That was a few days ago. It was supposed to be uploaded. The reason it wasn't uploaded was because my power cord to my computer, bad luck. One of the doggos in the house kind of likes to chew and uh, the cord no longer worked. It decided to shit the bed. So it picked the worst day, a day that uh, I wanted to upload. I recorded, had everything started editing and that's when it, um, it died. So then I bought a new cord. It came today. So uh, we're all set for the weekend. Thank God that it got here in time for the weekend, but uh, everything is you're going to see everything as if it was being uploaded that day. I didn't want to change anything, but I wanted to explain to you what happened in case you didn't see my community tab post, which I try to remind you guys to always check the community tab on my YouTube page because I always update you there if anything is going wrong or if I... Uh, have any questions for you guys, polls, whatever. Anyways, with that, on with the originally recorded video. Hi, my name is Sarah Ray. Welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Happy second annual of celebrating Australia Day here on this channel. I know I have some of you guys from Australia that watch it, so we are celebrating today. Also, because I know today's Australia Day and you guys are ahead of us and it's Australia Day for you, so if I think too hard on this, my brain hurts. So, I'm just told it's today. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank Bill again for a second year in a row of giving me songs to listen to. Bill, you are incredible and I absolutely adore you. Thank you so much for <laughs> giving me content throughout the years <laughs> and giving me the suggestions for today. You told me to check out two specific uh, songs or uh artist um i don't know how to exactly put this the first one is john farnham with the melbourne symphony or should i be totally american and just say that word incorrectly so let me do this over again john farnham and melbourne symphony so we're doing the song help from them and then the other one we are doing is stevie wright and the songs are EV part one through three so those are what we are doing today i hope you guys enjoy this little cut from what we typically do if you guys enjoy my content please subscribe hit the bell notification so it's turned on so you can get all of my content like comment and let's get into this so the first song we are doing is health and it is live so hopefully this works out too that I'm gonna have the live video on screen I tell you guys all the time live videos are kind of a blurred line sometimes they work sometimes they don't and uh, we're gonna see if you see it that means all went well if you don't that means it didn't so I will put it in the description box so here we go here's an oldie but a goodie When I was younger, so much younger than today, I Thank you.
Thank you. The Melbourne Symphony Orchestra, ladies and gentlemen. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Okay, so first of uh was something I didn't say earlier was uh if you don't know that song, it's the Beatles. And I I am familiar with that song. I don't it's not one of the Beatles songs I know by heart. I do wanna say that, but wow that man has some pipes on him uh okay i guess first let's go into it uh obviously that song help you can obviously figure out that he's just saying you know he's reaching out saying help me if you can and that he really appreciates what you do for him when he reaches out no matter what even the smallest thing he appreciates that's what I think the song is about. I think it's, again, one of those songs that may mean something different to each person that hears it. And it will definitely trigger certain situations and memories for different people. And that's what's beautiful about songs like this. It really is. But we're not here fully talking about this song. We're talking about what just went down. I want to first focus on John Barnum? I hope I'm saying his name right. Yeah, okay. Um, he has a voice on him, and it is stellar. It is pure, almost gospel, rock, blues, all of that mixed together, and it is so stellar. It just, it is. And for him to be backed up by Melbourne Symphony Orchestra, I feel like just put his voice more on a pedestal and for you to notice the way his vocals are. I hope that makes sense, okay? And the way he sings and the movement in his voice, the emotions at times and the way he conducts himself is just one, pure professional and two, a beautiful performer. Okay, he knows how to conduct himself in a way to move an audience, right? And then three, getting into what he is singing, right? It's incredible. And then to involve the audience the way he did was, I love when performers do that because it gets the audience going. And choosing songs is so important. So to choose this song was a tactic, a good choice. And then the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra was just incredible and just as, God, a next level as he was, as John was, because they blew my mind. At the very beginning, I was like, holy, my God, like, and the way everyone's, everyone is in that just, it, 
high class master that's it they had goosebumps going at times and it was a mix between everybody and when you have a mix between everybody that just amplifies it you guys last thing i'm gonna say is i love the way john pointed out the saxophone guy i always love when they do that um when they nod to another musician another performer because that's really professional and just in and that saxophone dude was incredible trust me i love saxophone players almost as much as i love bass players so Anyways, with that, let's move on over to Stevie Wright playing Evie, part one through three. Alright, you guys, this part is Evie, part one, two, and three. Unfortunately, I did record this part of the video already, but it seems when it was uploading, it froze. I do have to redo watching this video again, which is absolutely okay because I will tell you that I did enjoy listening to this song. And I do have to tell you that my theory of that after talking to Bill about these songs and everything, I did find I did find out that my theory of what these what this trilogy is about is absolutely wrong so don't uh don't tease me too hard about what i ended up thinking the song was about because yeah it is completely wrong so with that let's get into listening to the song this is a trilogy from the mid-70s called Eve.
baby let me tell you I I really upon hearing it a second time cannot understand how I got the meaning that I did and I didn't look up the lyrics for the third song I'm gonna let you know that right now which is something I normally do but I didn't for some reason for this third one I did for the first two, but I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. And obviously, I'm going to tell you what it is. I initially said it was him getting together with this girl, them breaking up, him losing her, and uh, moving on, which it's absolutely not about that. It is about him getting, like, you know, getting together with her, but it's them their love story ending up having a baby and her him losing her during birth during childbirth that is what it's about and you can hear that in that third part where he's saying i'm losing you i'm losing you so that's what that song is about i'm going to just say that now uh, but uh, I'm still going to let you again hear what I thought the meaning of the song was originally and continue on through um, my feelings on the song and everything, so on with that. Evie part one through three, definitely, like he said, a trilogy. It's a story uh, about a girl, Evie, and uh, how he lost her, wanted her back, and how I see the last portion is him moving on. Uh, that's what I think the song is about. I, that's what I think these three, this trilogy is about. Let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. Now, I have a sticky note. I always write down my thoughts and uh, I wrote them down one, two, and three. So about each one I'm going to break down. And then I'm going to tell you kind of multiple thoughts about just it overall so the first song I really enjoyed the bass uh, the funk of it I think overall the combination of all the musicians together were quite incredible the vocals and the girls together I think all combined it really great I think in the first song I I kind of was like is he eccentric or something because of the way he was moving? And in the second one, in the second part, is when I started noticing he was kind of more acting. At least is what I, I took it as. Acting, you know, how he was feeling and, and what was going on in the song. So in the first one, he was, I enjoyed the, the acting. And in the second one, again, the acting was quite there. It added on to the emotional part of this song. I, I also liked how it's broken down. It's just a piano. It also gives that emotional side, the, the heartbroken, I just want to be with you. Why don't you want to be with me? Like, I can change type of thing. Like, like he just wanted to be with her and and he wants her to know that and, and it was all played out right then and there um i was laughing by the way if you guys caught that it was towards the end of the song in this one when they were about to change and bring up the third song it was because behind him one of the musicians were like stuffing his shirt in his pants and it just looked wrong 
And so it had me cracking up because I'm, my sense of humor is not right. Um, in the third song, again, the funk was there. I love the drums, the drive in the drums in this song. The bass movement with the two guitars together played so well in this song. I think the the fluidity between all three songs went just right. The vocals, that guy had some incredible vocals and I think the girls didn't do too well backing him up. And then the ending was just incredible. The end vocals with the all out drums and guitar moment and then him dropping to the knees is just a signature type of rock moment definitely tell it's 80s and that's what makes it awesome to me anyways the the way they all look the smoking with the guitar the style of the music and the style of the clothes you could tell it's all 80s i i love that though anyways those are my opinions of these two songs. I hope you guys had a great Australia day. Sorry again, it's posted so late. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and well, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.